chances in the, in the hope that at, at least the draw isn't a disadvantage in the high numbers. Nearly set, Secret Guest looks like last in. Here's Mike Catamol to call them out. And uh, away they go, and Secret Guest reared up and gave away some ground to Grey at the start of this. Oakmere Home supporting Macmillan Sprint Handicap, this heritage handicap. Safari Dream of the cheek pieces uh, amongst the early leaders, so too rousing Encore down the centre, the purple and blue colours, the near side group, that's Quinault in front of Pure Angel and Quintus Arias, trapped there by Catch the Paddy, Dark Kestrel, Chasserelle, and pushed along just behind these leaders is Bucker Bay. Over on the far side, North Cliff is right up there with Washington Heights, Safari Dream, and also prominent rousing Encore, Millstream is there as well, Garner's been scrubbed along with a white cap, uh, Zuki travelling well in the black and uh, yellow colours, followed through there by spirit of applause Rabar is covered up with redemption time is trying to seek a way through as they race down towards the final quarter mile here a wide open race down the centre Washington Heights taken on by the top weight Millstream here's Quinault on the near side the winning machine who's coming alongside them all followed through by Pure Angel they're inside the final furlong Washington Heights drifting across towards Quinault on the near side kept going by Jamie Spencer Washington Heights Quinault is lunging late as they go towards the line and Quinault has got there from Washington Heights. That's five out of five in handicaps. Eminency right behind them in Millstream Rabar and Redemption Time close up in six. What a finish to the Big McMillan Sprint Handicap. Uh, what a story it's been in the Quinault. Five in a row now. Connor Planis on the board here yesterday uh, for trainer Stuart Williams this afternoon beaten in second place Washington Heights for Kevin Ryan and Jamie Spencer is a 50th photo but certainly looks that way. Yeah, and the two in the photo stalls 20 and 5, so draw hasn't had yeah. an impact. Inform horses have come to the fore, and it is two horses from um, a strong piece of form at Newmarket last time out that have once again fought out the finish with Quinault, I think, getting the better of Washington Heights once again. Yeah. Um, there was obviously the, the pull at the weights in terms of the marks that they've gone on, but the five pound claim of Connor Planis has been a help and he has enjoyed an excellent week and this will cap it off perfectly, taking this valuable handicap. Yeah, let's watch it back down the middle, traveling very strongly, it's the Farry Dream. Uh, and just over the front of the markers is where uh, Washington Heights finds himself in front from Millstream towards the far side. Um, here's the well, it's confirmed win of your winner. And a roar of applause when the name's mark goes up. Being the second place from Washington Heights. And Millstream was third and back and forth. That was Clive Cox and Danny Tupudlo. Let's watch what else. Um, she shaped well for a long way, Pure Angel, just weakening inside the final half for us. Take the head on any hard luck stories? Um, I think if the winner it was going to be in the main group, Pure Angel moved threateningly into it, every chance to get past Quinault, flattened out, maybe, going to be better at five furlongs watching um, that particular performance. Uh, we'll see on the head on there was a little bit of a um, tightening up and short of room for Spirit of Applause, who's on the far flank, took a, a little bit of a bump. Uh, Rabar has made some ground from a fair way back and has probably shaped quite well on, on first viewing. Washington House just drifts to his right. Doesn't hit the eventual winner anyway, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have mattered, but um, just lost a bit of ground doing that. That, that new market form, Niall, is, is really strong, isn't yeah. it? It comes to the fore again here. Eminence, you'll see him um, running on as well. He's, he's he gets third four. in that race last time out, so I think that's one of the key things to take out of it that one form line really has come out strongly um, good run I think from the handicap debutant um, and top weight Millstream who was in a handicap for the first time and has just got third spot and there's a print on the line to confirm that Quinault has won from Washington Heights in second place Millstream good run on their top weight in third for Jean Chapelheim and Marco Gianni but uh, a fine week for this jockey uh, Connor Planis five rides, four winners and two on the Navesmar uh, winning the first race yesterday for Michael and David Eastby, here is successful for Stuart Williams, more following in due course from here at York.